Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. And today is May, which means it's the start of a month long hop called May I Scrap Lift You. This is a hop organised by Crystal Barrett from Pineapple Papers. I'll leave her details down below. Um, you can either choose to scrap lift your own people or Crystal has put a fabulous list together of the people that she wants to scrap lift. So I'm following Crystal's list and the first um, person that I'm scrap lifting for the second, which is the Tuesday, is Sandra Lee and she's scrappygal13 on Instagram. Again, I'll link her down below. Her photo, the photo of the layout I'm lifting of Sandra's is in the top corner there and you can see there are all these banners across the top and she's used a grid paper for her background. Um, I wanted to use the Stardust collection from Jen Hadfield that I've been really enjoying using recently so I grabbed one of those papers for my background, the black and white striped one that you can see here and I'm just going through the scraps that I've got from the 6x8 paper pad and creating lots of banners to go across the top and you'll see I use all all different methods of, of creating my fishtails because <laughs> why why choose one method when several are available to you so um, sometimes I'll fold the paper in half and snip the end off if you like to create the uh, fishtail sometimes I'll do what I'm doing now and slice up the middle and then create a join from the bottom corner to the top of that slice and sometimes I'll just freestyle cut the <laughs> cut the triangle. Um, I don't know why I've used all the different methods. I think I was just on a mission to get this done. I was so excited to create this layout. It's a photo of my two and Leanne's daughter when we were at Disneyland Paris back in 2014. And um, they're just goofing around with one of the green men. <laughs> it was such fun. And um, it was a photo that Leanne had taken. I've put all of my photos into our Project Life album that I tend to do for family holidays. And now I'm just going through some of the photos that Leanne sent to me and scrapping those for our annual albums. So as you can see, I'm just continuing to go through those papers. I am making sure that the directional papers are the right way up uh, because I need such a small amount for these banners. Uh, I can make sure that I do that. And they're all different widths ranging from about one inch to, I don't know, half an inch, maybe one and a half inches. I'm really not very good. I just tend to do it by eye and use what I've got at hand. So the uh, sometimes the size of the scraps pretty much dictated the size, of the width of the banners. And again, the same with the length. I didn't want to go too far down because I'm going to create some embellishments along the bottom of the page like Sandra's got. But um so I needed to leave space for my photo in the middle there. And the photo it was a 6x4 photo that I cut down to 4x4. Four four. So just using some liquid glue and running it right across the top there so that I can adhere these banners down. Um, I find that the easiest method when you've got pieces like this. And I'm overlapping them haphazardly and just making sure that they go right the way across from left to right. Making sure that they're all stuck down and not overlapping the top. <laughs> Almost there now. And there we have it. So the photo I have matted onto a piece of white cardstock um, just so that it gives some definition between the photo and the stripes because they're quite bold. And now I'm coming in with this tag paper that's in the 6x8 paper pad and just using some of the tags that I think will fit onto this layout. So I think this one says besties. I've got one that says happy, one that says today, cool and fun. They're the ones that made it onto the layout. I think I cut a couple of others and lost them in the uh, <laughs> the fun of making the layout. You'll see I have to lift the paper up a couple of times to do things. and Things get hidden behind layouts, don't they? Or in the pile of everything else on the desk. I always start off with a clear desk and by the end you should see it's like a bomb hit it, honestly. <laughs> so just cutting out these tags, trimming off the uh, corners and making sure that they're trimmed down. Because obviously when you're hand cutting things, sometimes you have a piece of the other tag left on there as well. And in the end, I choose these two that say, happy besties, and I just use those as a little embellishment to the side of the photo. I think they look nice together. So just finishing up these ones that I want to put at the top. And keep finding more, don't you? When you start looking, you, oh yeah, that one will work. Like I say, one or two of these don't make it, but for now they're all cut out. So now I'm just going through the 
rainbows that are on this scrap of paper and I think I might use some of those along the bottom because I need to embellish along the bottom. The only things I've got from this collection are the foam stickers, the 6x12 foam stickers and the sticker book. So I'm just trying to create some of my own embellishments as well. So I start building up a little piece here, but that does get broken down in the end. I just wasn't sure what to do at the start, but you get in the flow of it, don't you, quite quickly, once you start looking at what you've got around you. So just cutting some more of those rainbows out. And this is a really good way of stretching your stash if you've got a pattern paper with something like the rainbows or butterflies or whatever on. You just enjoy fussy cutting, it really does stretch your stash. So I decide to pop the photo down so that I know exactly where that's going and then I can work out how tall these embellishments across the bottom can go. So just adding some of that sticks to 25mm foam tape and popping that down, checking it straight, which is daft really because I've got those stripes. I, <laughs> I think it's just automatic that I reach for that T-square ruler now. <laughs> so it's still messing around along that bottom. I've got that tag that says magic and I love that because it's all metallic. So I do use that in the end. And I love these um, glasses as well. And they just say, stay cool, because the kids are posing. I <laughs> just think that's really nice. So I'm just turning my attention to these tags so that I can get those stuck down. Um, they'll go on the left-hand side and I'm going to use some of the wax twine to thread through them to keep them on. So just gluing them down with again with my wet glue. Stupidly doing the one that's on top first <laughs> and having to pull that up to get to the one underneath. Honestly, I never learn. So now going through these foam stickers, I use this heart on the right hand side and I do add some more foam underneath it because obviously the photo is popped up onto foam already. So I need something underneath the bit that goes straight down onto the layout to raise it up. And then I move those glasses just so that they sit nicely on those two tags. And then I'm going to start adding some bits and pieces along the bottom. So there's that stamp that says smile and I don't put, I don't put it right down to the very bottom of the page. Um, I just have it standing slightly proud because I want these to be up and down a little bit. And then I use that you are a great friend and took that off the page so you'd see me just trimming the bottom of that off there. And then as I lift the paper up to do that all these tags go flying and that's when I think I really do need to get those stuck down so that doesn't happen again. And I think it's at that point that I lose the one that says hello that was really cute with the foiling but it doesn't matter I like these three that I've chosen. It says today cool and fun. So I've just tacked those down with a little bit of wet glue to start with um, while I carry on working along the bottom. And I'm adding that magic piece and I've cut off the tag end so that it's just a, a blocky title. I've used a foam rainbow there on the left and then I'm just tucking in some of the rainbows that I hand cut from that paper. Next to that you are a great friend. Looking to see what else I've got on this foam sheet. And I find this peace sign, it's too big to go up next to the photo. So I just add that to the bottom as well. And then I don't want to add too much foam because I want to go through the sticker book as well. But I just think this cat is really cool. Sophie's got a cat. We had cats when the kids were tiny. Um, Amelia adores cats. So I just thought it was quite cool to add to the layout. It's not going to be used on any others. So <laughs> I decided to add it along here. And then a little foam flower circle there and a flower that's popped underneath the photo. And then I'm looking through this ticket book because the pink one had fallen out and I find the green, which goes much better because of that army man that they're standing next to. So I just glue that underneath the photo to the right. So doing a little bit more embellishing of my photo than is in the original, but that's the point of a scrap lift, isn't it? It inspires you and you can add your own twist. So just going through the sticker book now, I'm finding anything that I might be able to use. I use a peacock, which I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't use on any other layout. So it's great to get that used along the bottom here. They're just cool kids having fun. So anything that's cool <laughs> is being added. So there's an orange there that I've added. I'm just trimming off the bottom and just layering things up as I go. This piece says live out loud and then happiness is with you. And they go really nicely with this photo. So just making sure that's stuck and is level. 
And then I start finding these little sparkly bits, the stardust. So just sprinkling those around the page. And now I'm turning my attention to those tags that I tacked at the top. And I'm just going to thread a continual piece of wax thread right the way through them. I use the yellow on the two tags next to the photo, so I'm continuing with the yellow across the top as well. Actually, I'm saying that it's not, it's a peach. It's a peach colour, but it goes really nicely with these the colours in the papers. So slightly less in your face than the yellow. So it doesn't detract from all the lovely banners that I've got going across the top there. So just looping it through each of the holes that I've created in those tags and then I'll take, carry it over the back and just stick it down with some double sided tape. Just because that's what I've got to hand, any kind of tape would do just to get that stuck down. Trimming off the excess because I'll be able to use that another time. And same with the left hand side. Just checking I'm happy with how it's laying on that tag. And then tack that down. So I wasn't quite sure what to do with these strings here. Um, and then I realised I can use that little stardust piece to anchor them down. So that's what I'm just doing there with my wet glue. Just adding that down there. So now turning my attention to the title, I'm just going to use these beautiful puffy alphabet stickers from Doodlebug. And I'm going to write Disneyland Paris. So I put Disneyland in the yellow and then use the pink, which matches the pinks in this collection really nicely to write Paris. So just using my T-square to check again that it's straight before I realise that I can just use those black lines to do that. <laughs> and now finally I'm coming in with some gold splatters with my Heidi, Heidi Swap colour shine. So I'm going to leave the playlist in the description box down below. Please do check everybody else's videos. Uh, most people are playing along every day. I'll just be doing my, my usual Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday uploads. So it'll be interesting to see who's on the list for those days. Thanks again. Bye.